Hey, good morning, guys. It's another beautiful day out here. I come over here and hang out for a little bit. I kind of expect Colton to show up. He's up there on the porch. But come out here to, to look at the creeks and see how they're looking. Go on this side. We got a... a the, the music of the creek comes over them rocks that it travels over. You know, when you got still water, there's no music in these creeks. But when they run through the obstacles, that's where you get your music. Our trials in life, you know, God says to rejoice in your trials. <laughs> he does. But anyway, that's a... Yeah, it's crazy how, how you think about it. Music comes from the trial of the rocks running through the through that and you get into still water and there's no sound so it's the trials that makes the music <laughs> isn't that something so anyway my little chicken I had <clears throat> had it's the key word a bobcat got in there last night some way and uh Sometime anyway, it carried it off, brought it out across the creek and on up into the timber. So it's gone. But anyway, let's look at these scriptures we got. This is Ephesians 3, uh, verse 16 right now. And uh, this, is, this is part of Paul's prayer. And <clears throat> get this and read it all in context. It's really awesome to, to read. And when you read it out loud and slow and deliberate, and think about what you're reading, it can get over overbearing. It can overpower you emotionally. For me, it can. And it's amazing how that works. So, this is what we got in Ephesians 3.16, which reads, That he may be giving you, in accord with the riches of his glory, to be made staunch with power through his spirit in the man within. So, now I'm going to read these references, and I'll put these under the video in, in the order that I read them, all right? So, we'll, uh, we'll uh, check those out, and, and uh, here's what we got. It says, starts out here in 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13, and uh, we'll go from there. Watch, stand firm in the faith, be manly, be staunch, let all your actions occur in love. To me, less than the least of all saints, was granted this grace to bring the evangel of the untraceable riches of Christ to the nations and to enlighten all as to what is the administration of the secret which has been concealed from the eons in God who creates all. The eyes of your heart having been enlightened for you to perceive what is the expectation of, of his calling and what the riches of the glory of the enjoyment of his allotment is among the saints. That in the oncoming eons, he should be displaying the transcendent riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. It is that he should also be making known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he makes ready before for glory, us, whom he calls also, not only out of the Jews, but out of the nations also. Now, my God shall be filling your every need in accord with his riches and glory in Christ Jesus, to whom God wills to make known what are the glorious riches of this secret among the nations, which is Christ among you, the expectation of glory. For the rest, brethren mine, be invigorated in the Lord and in the might of his strength. And he has protested to me, sufficient for you is my grace. For my power in infirmity is being perfected. With the greatest relish, then, will I rather be glorying in my affliction, in my infirmities, that the power of Christ should be tabernacling over me. 
for all am I strong in him who is invigorating me, Christ. Being endued with all power in accord with the might of his glory for all endurance and patience with joy. At my first defense, no one came along with me, but all forsook me. May it not be reckoned against them. Yet the Lord stood beside me, and he invigorates me, that through me the heralding may be fully discharged, and all the nations should hear. And I am rescued out of the mouth of the lion. For not that which is apparent is a Jew, nor yet that which is apparent in flesh is circumcision. But that which is hidden is the Jew, and circumcision is of the heart and spirit, not in letter, whose applause is not of men, but of God. Consequently, I am finding the law that at my willing to be doing the ideal, the evil is lying beside me. For I am gratified with the law of God as to the man within. For all is because of you that the grace increasing through the majority should be superabounding in thanksgiving to the glory of God. Wherefore, we are not despondent, but even if our outward man is decaying, nevertheless, that within us is being renewed day by day. Wow, I can't add to that. That's references to Ephesians 3, verse 16. And I'll put these references down under video so you'll have them down there to check out. But <coughs> anyway, there we got that. <laughs> and it's nice out here today. It turned out, turned out beautiful. Turned out to be a beautiful day. And uh, Colton's found him a little creek right here. He's he's playing in. This water runs down through the yard and comes out up there by the house, up there by the. Uh, where we park our cars comes out of the ground. Anyway, it flows through here and through the yard and and, and down through here and right down into the creek. <laughs> so Colton's found him a good mud pup to play in. All right. I think it's time we get out and get the day started. See what God's got for us. He directs our steps. Man thinks he knows what he's going to do, but God's the one that directs his steps. How awesome is that? We rely on the living God, who is the Savior of all mankind. <laughs> Especially believers. Not exclusively, but, yep, that's the way it works out. Anyway, grace and peace to y'all. about to be overrun by a truck. So, I hope y'all have an awesome day. Grace and peace. We'll talk to you tomorrow. See you then.